I have no idea which color I'm gonna use yet. I just look, oh, again, this is what it looks like. I'm such a dork. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of today's video, we are getting this face, this beat gorgeous face using all black owned beauty brands. I dug through my stash and this look was inspired by the Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed palette. And then I was like, let me see what else I have that's black owned and see if we can get a full face. Before we get into the video, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You already here. You clicked on my thumbnail so you were intrigued by something. Turn your notifications so you know when I upload. And if you wanna see what products I use to get this look and what brands are featured in this video, stay tuned and keep on watching. I'm gonna try really hard not to make this video long, but I don't think I've been this excited to film in a while. So the thing that prompted me to do this video was I placed an order on Beauty Bakery's website. I just think that their theme is really cute. It always has been. It says so much cake, so little time. I picked up their setting powder, which is the Better Not Bitter Flower, and it comes in this little package. How cute is this? Like everybody always talks about how cute their packaging is. But so this is what it looks like. Cute packaging and it says flower on the top. And this is in the shade Oat, which is their translucent. I also picked up their primer, which looks like a freaking stick of butter. It's called Beauty Bakery, the Butter Hydra Silk Primer. Okay, first of all, so I've been one hydrating stuff, so that is cute. It even has the little measurements on the side to tell you like a cup, a fourth of a cup, a tablespoon, y'all. This legit, <laughs> this legit looks like a stick of butter. Like what? Look at this on the side. And so it is a stick primer, which is very interesting. This is what it looks like. And then I, of course, got the palette. That was the main reason I started looking in the first place. This was when I went on my sudden cool tone palette hunt. So this is what this one looks like. A little bit of neutral, um, but we have these mauve shades at the top and then these shades are a little cooler. So I thought that would be cute. I hadn't seen a lot of reviews on this one either. So I'm wondering if it, is it because that's bad or because what, you know, I don't know. And then I also picked up their setting spray. This literally looks like the spray I used to cook with. It says sweet, does it say grace? Baking spray, makeup setting mist. They definitely get an A plus for the packaging, like not even a question. I also picked up their Neapolitan bar. They had a darker one. I think it was called the brownie bar, but I decided to go with this one. This is not going to be to contour, I don't think. This is what the packaging looks like. It looks a little dark. The other one was super dark. So I kind of wanted to go between, plus I like the highlighter in this one better. The highlighter looks so pretty. And there are the shades. So that's everything that I got from Beauty Bakery. The rest of this stuff. Oh, this is my black owned beauty bucket that I plan on using today. We pretty much have a full face except for lashes and brows. I'm going to start with the primer and this is literally called the butter which is so cute. So I'm just going to put this all over my face and then while I let that set in I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do one of my eyebrows for you guys to see how I do it with powder and then the other one off camera, just cause I don't want to take too much time up. This feels so good. Ooh, it kind of, it has a nice slip to it, but I also kind of feel like it's filling in my pores some. I can feel that already. I'm gonna take a little bit of powder and just set my brow area. Since this primer has a little bit of slick to it, so I'm just gonna put a light layer of the translucent powder on top. 
All right, I gotta change something because I said I was gonna use the Beauty Bakery palette to do my eyebrows, but these colors are not brown. Like these are mauves and that is not gonna work for my eyebrows. So I also have my Wash Me Blush palette from the crayon case. There is a brown in here, but I don't think that's deep enough. But you know what? I do have these Uoma Beauty Brow Fro. It says it's a gel pomade, but it comes like the Benefit, whatever that is, Give Me Brow and all of those. So maybe I can use a brown and then just kind of go over it with this since it has this little bitty brush and that'll help darken it some. Either way, we're gonna make it work. I did also pick up Finally bought this. I have eyeballed this for forever. This is the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. And this is what the palette looks like. So as you can see, these colors are like warm heaven. All right, so I'm gonna take this shade Hot Cocoa and I'm just gonna see, cause this is just gonna, it's gonna fill them in, but it's gonna make them look light. But I legit don't have anything darker in the stuff that I want to use today. So we're going to look like we got our brows tinted just a tad. Let me try this berry shade. Oh boy. I mean, it's going to work. It'll be fine. It's just not going to be what my brows normally look like, but that's all right. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Bakery palette. There's a Boo and a View shade in the middle. It's a black, darkish, kind of grayish black shade. I'm gonna use that lightly for my tail. I hesitated on using this because of the fact that it looks like it has glitter in it, but it also looks like it's one of those shades that the glitter just falls out of. And then of course I'm going to clean this up with concealer so this will be good. I just didn't want them to be too dark. All right this is what we have for my brow. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up with concealer and then I'm going to set it with this Brow Fro from Uoma Beauty, and then I'll finish the other one, and then I'll come back and we'll move into the rest of the products. All right, so brows are done. If we need to touch them up later, we can, but for right now, not mad at how this turned out at all. I think it looks a little thicker than I normally do them, but I don't mind that at all. So we're gonna go with it. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys this. Look how cute. This is from Colored Rain, and this is a little set that they had on their website. It is two beauty blenders. It is called the Candy Cane Rain, which it says, you probably can't read that through there, on this little container, but I just thought it was cute. They're shaped slightly slanted on the side here and then round the rest of the way and they're both shaped like that. There are also two flawless sponge cleansers in here. I don't know the difference. One is red, one is green. Not sure what the difference is in them, but these sponges are really, really soft. I'm gonna use one of these today. We're gonna start with eyes first and for concealer, I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place concealer. I use my Fenty concealer to clean up around my brows. I have the shade 350, but this one is yellow and it's darker than this one. So I wanna make sure I cancel out the color on my eyelids to make my eyeshadows pop. So I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place one for that. And we are gonna do a cut crease today. It's gonna to be a little cool toned, but definitely more on the mauve -y side as opposed to like a gray.
All right, so now that that's blended out, I'm gonna go over it with my translucent powder just to set it a little bit. And then for eyeshadow, I'm gonna start with the shade Messy Hair, which is this shade here. I'm just gonna take that on a big blending brush. Not a lot of kick up in the pan. Nice mauve color. Then I'm gonna keep the same brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Yawning, which is the shade up here. But I'm not gonna blow it out as much, so we're gonna keep it closer to the crease. I like how this color looks. It's like a little bit of purple undertone, but it still has a bit of a gray hint to it. Then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. I wanna see what this shade Lazy Baby looks like. Down here, it's a purplish gray and it has a little bit of a sheen to it, but we're gonna use that to deepen up the crease. A Little bit of kick up with this one. That's pretty. I'm keeping this one just more concentrated in the crease and a little tiny bit above it. Then I'm gonna go back with my blending brush and messy hair and just back around the edges a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with Boo and a View, which is the black. That also looks like it's not a sheen, but it has a little bit of glitter in it, but we're just gonna deepen the crease a little bit more and stay only in the crease with that shade. These are all blending really well together. I have not heard a lot about this palette at all, and it made me wonder, you know, is it good quality? What's going on? But this is good. All right, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna cut my crease because I really want to make sure that my lid color pops, whichever color we decide to do. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of my Juvia's Place concealer and I'm gonna go in with that. It's been a little while since I did a cut crease. I don't think I've done like, I don't think I've done one since I did my, Pat McGrath maybe? Every time I watch somebody else do a cut crease, I'm like, oh, that is so pretty. And then I don't know. I don't know why. All right. So for our lid color, I'm going to take the shade French Doors, which is this really pretty gray. It has a little bit of a lavender, light lavender undertone to it. And I'm going to take that on a flat brush and just pack it on the inner part. Then I'm gonna go in with Cuddle Cakes. I wanna use French Face, sorry, Fresh Face or Cuddle Cakes. There's just a slight difference in the undertone of the two. We're gonna go with Fresh Face, which is the slightly more gold And just blend those two together. And then I'm going to do Cuddle Cakes too, just because I want to see what it looks like. So we're going to do a little bit of that on this edge. Keep 
can't really see. Yeah, you can see a little bit of a difference. And then on the very outer edge, I'm gonna take pajamas, which is this one up here. It is also a kind of satin shade and just merge that into our darker shades on the end. And I'm gonna go back and deepen up our outer crease more I just wanted to play in all the colors. I ain't even gonna lie. If I get a new palette, I'm like, oh, let's see how many of these we can put on our lid. So now I'm just gonna go back on the very edge and pack in a little bit more of Boo and of View, just to get some of our depth back. All right, we're gonna stop right here. I'm gonna wipe with a makeup wipe just to see if there's any fallout. It doesn't look like there is. Maybe a little bit from the glitter, but not a lot. Yeah, there's a tiny bit, but not a lot at all. All right, so now we're gonna move into foundation. I got the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Aqua Glass Foundation in the shade 315W. This is what the foundation looks like. It comes in one of those like airless pump kind of majigs. I got a feeling this is gonna be too dark for me because I have had this for a while and just haven't worn it yet. If I hold it up long enough, it could be runny, but it's not really. So we're just gonna start with one pump. I don't smell anything. And I'm just gonna start by, this blends out so effortlessly. I don't know if it's from their primer or what, but I feel like that literally just blended itself out. I'm gonna add another pump just to see, but look at that. I love how this looks. This might be one of my new favorites for sure. This sponge is the softest sponge I have ever felt in my life. This is insane. Like it feels like, wow. I'm gonna see how it works, but I don't think I've ever felt a sponge this soft. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use, sorry, I got distracted, my Pat McGrath concealer. I already used the Juvia's Place for my eyes, and I used the Fenty concealer to carve out my brows. So I just want to use as many products as I can. This is in the shade M17. Love this concealer. It's so pretty and just flawless and smooths everything out. So I'm gonna do like I normally do and just take my sponge and go around the edges. Oh, this sponge is so soft. Oh my God. It literally feels like I'm pushing a cotton ball on my face. I'm so glad I picked this up. And then I'm gonna use the same sponge and I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Bakery Oat Translucent Powder and I'm just gonna set under my eyes with that. I don't know if you guys can see, this is what it looks like. That is a little light. I'm glad I did my eyes already because this might be a little too light to bake with, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and brush away the powder just because I don't know how much this is going to, how well it's gonna dissolve, if it's gonna sit on top of the skin, is it gonna look like super white? So I'm just gonna go ahead and dust away the excess. All right, now for contour. I don't have just a regular face powder, but I really think that this Neapolitan bar is gonna be a little too light. They kind of got me because I feel like when I look at it like this, it looks dark. And then when I open it, 
I feel like it looks a little lighter. There's a film here and there's a slight shade to the film that makes this look darker than what it is. So it might be going back because I don't feel like this is dark enough. But I like the blush and the highlighter, we'll see. So I'm just gonna take the bronzer powder in there and just kind of use it to set the rest of my face. But it is definitely not dark enough to contour and I honestly don't feel like it's dark enough to bronze. Oh, that is so disappointing because I like the blush color and I like, I'm probably gonna like that highlighter. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. I'm gonna take my Watch Me Blush palette and hot cocoa is really dark. So I'm gonna go in with a light hand with that one and a smaller brush and just apply that to where I want to actually contour. That is it right there. I've used this before, so I knew <laughs> what to expect with it. I know my nose looks crazy. We're going to fix it. All right, so we're going to stop right here with the contour. And I just want to show you guys this real quick. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but Colored Rain, when I picked up the Queen of Hearts palette, they also had a sale on some other products. And they had this Color Rain Times Power Highlighter and Blush Duo. Everything in me is screaming uses the Beauty Bakery one, but since most of these products are Beauty Bakery and I want to try to include more brands, look at how pretty this is. I think the highlighter may be a little dark, so we might use them both. I'm just, I have so many options and I don't know what I want to do. This is in the shade my day one we're gonna start we're gonna use the power one you can still get this one right now so if you like how this looks do not wait to go ahead and pick it up but i'm gonna start with the blush i'm gonna go in light because it looks a little dark that is so pretty Oh yeah, she is pigmented. When I'm trying a new blush, I start towards the back of my face just in case it is really pigmented, but I am loving the sheen. I don't have any highlighter on yet and my face just looks so glowy already. Okay, I'm gonna stop with the blush because that looks like a lot. And then we're gonna see what this highlighter looks like. I think it's gonna be a little dark it's gorgeous. It's going to be a little dark, so I'm probably going to go over it with the Beauty Bakery one just to see. Because this is more like a rose gold. Y'all know I like to use more than one highlighter at a time anyway, so we ain't doing nothing different. That is so blinding. I probably shouldn't <laughs> I probably shouldn't go over it with that other one but I just want to see I don't know how this happens every time let's swatch it okay she's cute Ooh, she is also very bright light hand Barbara come on you can do it mm. Oh, wow. See, this is the kind of thing that makes you keep a product for one thing. I would use that blush too, but that bronzer isn't going to do anything for anybody. Maybe I should have got the other one. I just thought the highlighter was going to be too dark. That's why I didn't. All right, I'm going to go, I'm going to take my powder brush, not my blush brush, and I'm just going to go around the edges of this. Just to kind of, <laughs> oh, that is so pretty though. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, okay, let's finish the bottom lash line. 
I'm going to take Lazy Baby, which is the purple down here. I don't have a pencil liner to use, so I'm going to try to darken this up as much as I can with the shadows. I'm going to go in with the Boo and a View, the black. Kind of smoke this out some. And then I'm going to take Fresh Face, this shade here, and I'm going to go on the inner third. For eyeliner, I have this Crayon Case Sharp Me Fine Tip Liner. This is what it looks like. It looks like a little permanent marker. We know that all their stuff is school kind of related. It's Sharp Me, Sharpie. We're just gonna see how this applies. Ooh, yes, it's a brush tip. And she is black. All right, thank you. That's probably the easiest I have ever drawn a wing. Now, can I do the same thing on the other side? I don't know. All right, I went ahead and added a little bit of the black liner to my bottom lash line just to make it a little darker. And I'm just gonna run my pencil brush over that. It's not really gonna smoke it out, but it's just gonna help it blend more with the other shades. That's how that looks, y'all. That highlighter, that is almost disrespectful. And where is she going? Nowhere. Nowhere at all. All right, for mascara, I have my Fenty Beauty Mascara. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that real quick. And then I feel like I would not be doing this look justice if I didn't put lashes on. If you guys know some good black-owned lash companies, comment below and let me know. I saw that jenny jenkins um i can't remember her youtube name but she actually just started her own line but i want lashes that are like everyday wearable i'm gonna go ahead and put my lash glue on here and give this a second to dry while i finish my bottom lashes and then we will move on to lips okay lashes are on yeah i definitely think that this helped just amp it up a little bit, give it a little spice. We're gonna move on to lips. I did pick up a few new products. I picked up the Colored Rain Times Power Matte Lip Paint. This is in the shade Suspect. I have no idea which color I'm gonna use yet. I just look, oh, I forgot about this. Okay, so this, look at the glitter in here. Ooh, I don't think that's gonna go with this look though. That is so, whoa. Y'all know I'm trying to figure out how I can make this work. Look at the flip in that. It's like a pink gold. It's not gonna go with this look, but believe when I say I will be wearing this soon. Okay, I forgot what <laughs> That's bad. I forgot what this was. I thought it was a lipstick. It is a lip gloss and it is gorgeous. I picked up some Juvia's Place lip products. Picked up the lip liner in the shade Scorpio. I wanted more of a brown, but they didn't have any in stock in Ulta. And I literally just picked this up today. Ooh, this could work. Okay. So it's a berry, but it almost looks a little brown. So that's good. It looks so dark in the tube though. I like that, all right. It is a berry, but we can make it work. Then I picked up the lipstick, Juvia's Place lipstick in a mauve moment. This packaging, look how cute this bullet is. This is going on my shelf. And then this is the color, so very mauvey oh that is lighter than i thought it was going to be but that is going to be perfect for this look 
probably gonna wear these together and then I also picked up a gloss because I wasn't sure about the lipstick this is in the shade sis and that is so pretty I didn't want to get just a clear gloss I don't wear those a lot at all it's actually kind of clear it is definitely not as opaque as it shows that's it right there so we're gonna wear all of these together I'm actually glad I didn't get a brown because I already have brown liners that I use this is brown ish but has a little more color I like that shade a lot Okay, and then we're gonna go in with the lipstick. Mm, it's a little more pink. I think it still goes with the look. It's a little more pink than I thought it was gonna be, but I'm gonna tell you guys a little trick that I learned. If you want to make a lipstick a little more matte and a little lighter, you can always take a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place concealer and I'm just gonna lightly you see how that just lightened that up a little bit that definitely <laughs> made that a lot more pink and if I put I'm gonna use the gloss it's fine I am loving how this turned out. Just gonna make sure it's all blended around the edges. And that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and try the setting spray since we have it. I don't feel like I need to be any dewier. Like I feel like my face is set and it's matte, but still is such a pretty glow underneath this is absolutely gorgeous but I do want to see what this looks like it has a little bit of a scent not bad oh that's a hard sprayer we ain't using too much of that I'm gonna take my sponge and just go over it because I do have some spots all right guys so this is the final look I absolutely love how all of this turns out. I'm so glad I've been having really good luck with products lately because I love this eyeshadow palette. This is definitely a cool tone look, but it's kind of like grayish, purplish. I just think everything looks so good. I'm sorry, I keep looking in my viewfinder. I love this foundation. I love the shade of it. Everything looks darker in here than it does in my bathroom, so hopefully I'm not playing myself, but I love all of these products together. There was not one single dud. I love the setting powder. Everything just looks so smooth. Like that is not normal for me. I'm normally like, oh Lord, my pores, my wrinkles. This look is absolutely beautiful and it's all made by us. Thank you, boo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you love how this look turned out as much as I do, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification bell so that you know every time I upload. I upload twice a week, so I will have more content coming for you. Thanks again for tuning into this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.